Hey guys, thank you for joining me. I am back today with a craft with me video and we are going to make these uh, shaker banner clips. So let me show you. I used all heart collection. So this is what they look like. You have the little shaker here with the tool, some uh, stickers from the collection and a little tassel. On the side so I kept it simple and I uh, did use my sewing machine but it's you, you can see it's sloppy and it's very easy uh, because I didn't like um, I didn't make the shaker on all the piece of paper I just made a little square added a puffy sticker here and here we go so let's uh, let's start right on it I'm gonna put these aside and what you're gonna need first is a, a piece of paper that measures uh, one and five eighths I mean depending on the size of the paper clips that you will use so for my paper clips and these are like regular two inches paper clip so one and five eighths by three and I scored I don't know if you can see here the score line, I scored at three quarters of an inch. Okay. The next step is we're gonna, uh, we're gonna cut the banner here. Okay. So I'm gonna use my, uh, my banner punch board, but you can definitely just use your scissors and, uh, and chop off the, 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 like the flag, uh, the flag here. Okay. So you're going to leave your score line on top. Okay, so here is your score line. And then you're going to open your uh, banner punch board if you have it. And you're going to place it because you want to cut like that. You're going to place it on top here and slide it until the, the paper meets the point here. And you want to make sure that you center it. Okay, so that this point here is in the middle of your paper if that makes sense and then once you have it all positioned you're just gonna uh, close your punch board and you're gonna cut it down and here we go so you have your banner clip made then next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna chuck chop off just a small piece on the side just so you can glue your uh, your clip and it doesn't show here okay so now we're done with the cutting with all the cutting part so you're gonna grab a piece of tool okay and you're gonna size it so my square, I stopped my square about here so that I still have room to decorate. So I still have room to decorate. So my square is, is like that, okay? So I'm just gonna chop a little bit of my tool on the side because it will make it easier for the sewing part. There we go. And I'm gonna chop it off as well on the length. Here we go. So once you have your, uh, your piece of tool cut to size, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna sew and uh, you're gonna sew your, um, your tool on your paper and you're gonna start here and you're gonna sew this side this side and this side and you're gonna stop okay so um, I already did that step and let me show you what you're gonna end up with so after you sew your three sides you're gonna end up with something that looks like this so now you have room to add your mix and that oh and that's what we are going to do so you're going to add your shaker mix. I'm new to, to the whole shaker thing, so I don't have like 
tiny spoons and stuff I just fill my shakers like that I added also some seed beads so I, I want to make sure that I also add some seed beads and I did the same mix even uh, if on some pattern you don't have the mint color and the teal I just used the same mix because but I didn't put too much teal or too much um, mint I kept more uh, more of it like white pinks and um, and gold so once you filled your uh, your clip you want to make sure that all your sequins are on this side and then you're going to uh, to sew this part to shut the the tool to shut like this little pocket down so the sequins do, don't fall so let me show you so now you end up with something that looks like this and you have so i just like uh did some knots to the back and cut them uh, cut them down my stitching is still very messy but it's okay and now what you're gonna do is you're going to uh just trim the excess tool that you have here we go and on this side here here we go we're ready to decorate now so what i did for some i used the stickers the clear stickers from the collection and i uh uh, I like stick them on uh, on white cardstock and I cut around them and for some I used I did the same I used these gold stickers that I got on scrapbook.com from a recent haul so uh, for this one we're going to do the same so here's my white piece of cardstock here are the stickers that I got on scrapbook.com this is what they look like so I'm going with Wish, it's perfect. Here we go. And I'm gonna add a little flower, just like I did on these guys. So I want to stay with this color scheme, like pink and blues. But since I don't have any like blue flowers and the pink does not really match, I'm gonna go for the white one, even if it's a little big, it's okay. The white matches. So now I'm just gonna cut, like fussy cut around it. go the same for the white oh, just gonna do it like that so the same you want a fussy cut around it Here we go. So I'm just gonna grab my foam tape. Sorry, I, I don't have it with me, just one sec. Here we go. So just a small piece for the word. And another piece for the flower. So of course you can use like any collection you want, any stickers or embellishments that you like. Here 
here we go. And th these paper clips make very nice gift, even if you have like a, a party and you wanna you wanna like have some party favors or something like that, or for your friend. Even if they're not crafty, I'm sure they uh, they would like to receive like paper clips and stuff. Everybody likes paper clips, I think. And here we go. So now I'm just gonna add a couple of gems. And these are from Alina, Alina's recent release. So I use these clear ones uh, when I don't have the matching colors because it's uh, also clear on the back. So it will pick up the color of the paper you will put them on. So if I put them on here, it will pick up the, the pink. So that's what I will do. I will add just one pink and maybe a couple of gold and a couple of gold also here. Uh, so I'm just gonna add a small dot of hot glue. Here we go, oops. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna do the same for the small ones. You can also use wet glue if you prefer. It works as well. I tried it. But on the tool, it will not work. Uh, on the tool, it will not be enough. So you will need, uh, you will need hot glue when you're, when you want to stick them uh, on the, on the tool. Here we go. Sorry, I just have the hot glue here. That is bugging me. Okay. And the last one, and we're almost done. Okay. You don't need much. Just a small, just a small dot. And here we go. And I will add now my puffy sticker on the other side so again I want to stay out oh, perfect here it's blue so I will go for this one and the same for the puffy sticker I also like to add a small dot of hot glue to make sure it doesn't move doesn't go anywhere Okay, and now I'm just gonna. Uh, sorry about that. Here we go. And now we're gonna add it to our clip. So you want to make sure that you add it to the side that is um, straight, it's not cut here. You slip it in. Maybe you start with your tassel first. Oh, this one is broken. So I will go with a pink tassel. Yeah, for this one. So first you add your tassel here and then you will Slip your paper clip inside. You add a small, like, amount of hot glue. 
and we're done and here we go we're done i always add like a piece of uh, of washi to cover down the the ugly so i like to do that on my clips it's cuter on the back and here we go very easy very fast and um it's i mean for i'm a beginner at sewing so if if i manage to do it anybody can so um i hope you will try it because it's super uh fun to make actually all these shakers and they look very very cute and they make a very nice gift as well for uh for friends and of course to add in happy mail so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a, a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed to my channel and i will catch you on the next video thank you bye bye